What's going on YouTube? My name's Legendary Lee and today, man, I really need a haircut, huh? There we go. Much better. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have a new Pokemon treasure chest packed with Pokemon treasure. As you can see here, we've got the uh, origin forms of Dialga and Palkia on the front. Um, let's take a look at the back. Oh, no, there's nothing on the back. Okay, so here we go. The treasure chest packed with Pokemon. This sturdy metal case contains more than a dozen special Pokemon goodies. As you can see, here's everything that we're going to get and we're going to show you here. Just a second as we get into today's Pokemon card opening. Let me get my good trusty Goldie out for this one. Get this little plastic wrap going here. And as we get into today's Pokemon card opening, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I do all sorts of Pokemon trading card game content here on the channel. As you can see here in the back, we're getting real close to 5,000. We made a huge jump here in the past week. Um, got like 50 new subscribers. So we can actually make this push to get to 5,000 before end of 2022 but i really need you guys help all of the all of you that aren't subscribed out there please consider helping your boy out to get 5,000 subscribers that is a loud piece of plastic all right here we go so here is the front and all this glory obviously a metal um box here or uh, lunch box 10 whatever you want to call this we'll open it up we'll have five booster packs to open today um i thought these were going to be promo cards but they're actually not there's the cards. I'm not going to try to get them out at the moment just because they're so hard to get out without trying to damage them. Love the hollow pattern. I wish all the hollow pattern, all the hollow cards from, um, there's a coin as well. All the hollow patterns from uh, Sword and Shield were like this and not those vertical lines that are just absolutely ugly. But they, it doesn't seem they will. All right. I was curious if there were going to be Silver Tempest in here, but then there actually is because it does not tell you on the front. Yeah. See that? It does not show any Silver Tempest packs on the front, so that is interesting why they wouldn't show what's in there. So we've got two Silver Tempest, two Astral Radiance, and a Fusion Strike. But there is also plenty of other things in these kind of tens, as you are aware. That's kind of part of the appeal for like the younger um, audience. These are stickers, um, so there's those, those that it came with there. Um, this is like a notebook, I believe. Yep, sketch pad of some sorts, and a Mindy Binder. Used to come with pencils. Does not appear they come with pencils any longer. So that's what you can expect to get out of one of these here little lunch boxes. And of course, if you got a young one or a young kid, um, this can make actually a good lunch box. So that is cool. But we've got five packs to get to in today's Pokemon card opening. Let's bookend it with a. Actually, no, let's. Every other pack here. There we go. We'll end with Fusion Strike. Why not? All right, so first pack up is the Silver Tempest with the Reggie Lucky on the front of this bad boy. Let's see if we can pull that alternate art Lugia. Still searching for the alternate art. I have pulled the gold V-Star and the full art Lugia, so can't complain too much. Let's go with the fire energy here. Um, but obviously, we're still wanting that alternate art um, Lugia uh, for the Binder Collection. Or maybe I'd probably grade that one, actually. That's a nice card. All right, we got Smeargle and Esper. A jinx and there we do we 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 do i can't even speak man we do get an alternate art in the skun tank v all right all right let's go heck yeah not the alternate art i was asking for but i'll take an alternate art it's actually my first alternate art of silver tempest and i've opened a booster box and i've opened an elite trainer box so i'm looking at what 42 packs of silver tempest and that's my first no sorry 44 packs of silver tempest and that's my first alternate art. So they're not that common. Really not that common. I, I feel like in general, they made the... Um, in Silver Tempest, they made like the trainer gallery cards harder to pull too. Because I didn't pull a whole lot from my booster box. Let me know um, your experience down below in the comments. How you've felt about uh, Silver Tempest. This isn't Silver Tempest. This is Astral Radiance. But um, about uh, Silver Tempest. Let me know your experiences with that so far. All right. We are starting off hot. This box is hot. We've got a Beedrill full art. Would you look at that? Wow. I don't have that one. That's a nice, that's a nice card. Beedrill, I feel like is underrated. Mega Beedrill, legitimately one of the coolest Pokemon designs they've ever made. I love Mega Beedrill. If that was like Beedrill's original design, like his standard design, 
That'd be one of my favorite Pokemon. Probably be like a top 10 Pokemon for me. I love it. It's so cool. All right, back to Silver Tempest, though. Let's see if uh, this second pack here of Silver Tempest has just as good as luck, just as good of luck as uh, those first two packs had for us. For the front here, let's go to the Water Energy. And it is the exact opposite, because why wouldn't it be, right? Why wouldn't it be? All right, we've got Emergency Jelly, Araquanid, Stone Journal laying on his legs, Fletchling, Chimeco, Feebas, Finnegan, a Spinarak, an Arcanine burning everything to the ground, and we did get a Hollow, Hollow Rare Terrakian. All right. Well, we are off to a great start. Two, a Full Art, an Alternate Art, and a Hollow Rare. That's a solid start, if you ask me. But we're down with two packs left. Same time it is. It's time for the Triple P, the penultimate Pokemon pack, and today's Triple P is the Astral Radiance pack with the origin form Dialga on the front of it. Can we pull something crazy from this set? Which I have actually pulled the origin form Dialga um, alternate art, so that's already been pulled for me. I pulled the best set. Uh, I, typically when I pull like the chase card for a set, it's like a lesser set like Astral Radiance where, you know, the chase card for that isn't that great to be honest. But it is what it is. I'll take it. All right, Fusion Strike. Another one where I pulled the chase card from the set. It's that one Mew card, um, <laughs> which I guess you could argue that the Gengar card is uh, might be more. I haven't looked at prices recently, but in terms of like the most expensive at the time, the Mew card, I think, was more expensive. Um, so, but yeah, just one of those like kind of meh, meh sets that I've pulled the chase card for. <laughs> But what can you do, right? Oh my gosh, are these cards like bent a little bit? I don't know. All right, four to the front here. Let's go with a metal energy on this one. And it's grass. All right, last bag magic, guys. Can we end it off with something good? We've got a Garbodor, a Cross Switcher, a Jigglypuff rolling down a hill uncontrollably, an Onyx, a Snom, Impidimp, Cubefant, Ball Toy, and we do hit again another hit. That's a great box, actually. That's a really great box. Five packs. A regular V, a full art V, and an alternate V, or an alternate art V. What? A, that's a gr man. I picked the right one, right? I picked the right one. That's a, that's a heck of a box there. <laughs> but that is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said before. Till next time, stay legendary.